fanning the flames of ethnic conflict in the country's remote northern and eastern fringes. Writing Guys, you know, let me let me play this again because I want everybody to listen. and until his death in 1964 was led by the democratically elected Prime Minister Sir Milton Margai. Rich in diamonds, fish, coca and minerals, Sierra Leone had large public coffers and strong institutions, but all it took was one man to bring it down. In 1968, Siaka Stevens was elected Prime Minister of Sierra Leone. He'd spent a lot of time since Sierra Leone's independence fanning the flames of ethnic conflict in the country. Guys, let me pause it right there. And that is why this is important. You know, when you guys saw those articles by the African Express telling us that these guys are paying money overseas to, you know, um, you know, organizations like these, you know, uh, international, you know, agencies to, to actually propagate and launder their image. These are the facts. I just happened to come by this YouTube channel. I just, I was just, I just said, let me see the war. You know, after what happened at my 91 today, I said, let me just look up, you know, the war in Sierra Leone. And this came up, the frontal. It is a big YouTube channel. It has like 395,000 subscribers. So I'm going to share it with you. But you see, first of all, when you listen to the messaging, they skewed the message. Because where is Albert Magai in the equation? That is how you know these guys are very corrupt. These guys are criminals. And I promise you, somebody in the SLPP paid this platform for them to do this documentary and gave them this information. And they did not do their background check to figure out what is happening. So all of us, I want us to challenge these guys, especially this YouTube channel. I'm going to share the YouTube channel with you. But what I want to do is just break this whole thing down. Because what they're doing here is to create a very bad reputation for Shaka Stevens, like he was a very terrible president, without giving us an historical concept, you know, giving us a historical, you know, background into what actually led us to where we are, you know, and even with what is actually happening now with the SRPP government of President Bio, right? The human rights abuses, the massive corruption, the, the violations of people's political rights and civil liberties, right? No rights to protest, no rights to free speech. Civil societies have been bought and paid for. The members of parliament have been siphoned and squeezed, you know, when you look at everything, you know, all the state institutions they've captured, nepotism, tribalism, that is what is happening now. Well, that was what Albert Magai brought as well. So you see, what this tells me is that these guys are ashamed of their past. So it is our responsibility to unhalf their past and bring it out to the open so people would know exactly what actually happened. So when you listen to this, now they said we had a, a democratically elected, you know, our prime minister, uh, Milton Magai. They jumped straight to Sheka Stevens. Milton Magai was not even alive when we had Sheka Stevens contest the presidency for Sierra Leone. It was Albert Magai because Milton Magai died and Albert Magai took over. So these guys totally skewed Albert Magai's name because they know he has a very terrible reputation. And that is what they're doing. So when these guys are paying monies to international organizations to launder their image, this is the fact. And that is why I want you guys to see this. So look at Sheka Stevens now. They said Milton Magai to Sheka Stevens. No Albert Magai in the middle. The man who came with the one party system, brought the constitution that wanted to bring the one party system, he is the man who came with the criminal libel law where you know there was no free speech anymore if uh, newspapers you know journalists if they speak up they will be arrested and locked up albert magai was the man who brought all the bad precedents he is the man who introduced the military to a democracy this is the man who brought nepotism this is the man who brought tribalism every state institution he captured including the military and that's how he brought the military into a democracy so these are the things i want you guys to pay attention to so now i want you guys to listen a little bit more and then i'm going to break down and give these guys an historical perspective as to why sheka stevens had to protect himself so let me just let this play for a little bit more so you guys would um you guys would see countries this. remote northern and eastern fringes Riding on a ripple as opposed to a wave of populism, Stevens quickly set about destroying the democracy that elected him. He emptied the treasury to pay for small projects that benefited his close allies. He undermined and stripped away parliamentary powers. And he had political opponents exiled or executed by a corrupt judiciary. Public confidence in state institutions evaporated and Stevens' reign came to be known as the seventh. Okay. Guys, I've seen, seen enough of that. Plague of but locusts. let me break down exactly what is being told here. This is what they want us to they want to tell the world. And this is the message they try to push. And that is why when you see this, regardless of your political party, we have a responsibility to come out here and educate the international community 
Ambassador David Raima, you know, Miss Lisa Chesney, you know, the European person in Sierra Leone, Mr. Mula. All of these people should know what is actually happening. What actually happened then that led us to, you know, the rebel war of 1991. Let us start from the beginning, right? 1964 to 1967, Albert Bagai became the prime minister. There was an election held in 1967. And Shaka Stevens won the election in 1967. What did Albert Magai do? Because he was afraid, because at the time he had already, you know, instituted this nepotism and tribalism in every institution. He was, you know, scared of losing power. So what did he do? He called on, you know, Brigadier Lansana and, and Samuel Inga Norman. These were the two people that came that overthrew Shaka Stevens initially. So Shaka Stevens had to run for his life. These are the basic facts, right? So between 1967 and 1968, there were three coups which is what I want you guys to see, and that is what I want you guys to know and understand exactly what happened. And that is why this is very crucial, this is very important. So I want you guys to pay attention to these things, right? So when you look at that, and you you, you, you get to understand that, now there were three coups. Now the uh, Brigadier Lansana and Inga Norman coup was one. The Seal Jackson Smith coup was the second one that toppled Brigadier Lansana. And then the other ranks, including Brigadier Rogers, they came and overthrew Jackson Smith because he didn't want to hand over power. And then, you know, Brigadier Rogers, they brought Shaka Stevens from exile. So now, what did Shaka Stevens do? When he came, he had to consolidate his power. That was how, because he had no trust in the institutions anymore. Because the institutions have been pulverized with, you know, tribalism and nepotism. Like Albert Magai had all his people in every institution. And which is the same thing the SLPP is doing today. Tribalism and nepotism. They have all their people in every institution you go to pprc neck you know uh, um the police the military everything is their people tribesmen that is what the country has been reduced to and that is the same thing albert magai did in between 1964 to 1967 when we had the elections so after he lost the elections he called on the military brigadier lansana and inga norman and that's how our democracy dis got destroyed so when shaka stevens came he was afraid of all of these people he was scared so he had to consolidate power now. He had to bring people around him that he knew. So that was how a democracy got destroyed. Are you going to trust people that, you know, have already overthrown you three times? No, you would not trust them. And that was how, that was the predicament that Shaka Stevens found himself. So he had to train the ISUs, you know, that later become the OSDs, you know, his own military personnel. Shaka Stevens gave us all the infrastructure we have in Sierra Leone today. You know, the, 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 the Abadin, you know, bridge. If you go to Aberdeen, Aberdeen, the bridge there, you know, the Congo Cross Bridge, you know, the UE building, most of the government infrastructure that you see was given to us by Shaka Stevens. Most of the roads was given to us by Shaka Stevens. But yes, he held on to power for so long because, again, Albert Magai between 1964 and 1967 changed the constitution. And then we had a one-party state system. So this YouTube channel, I want you guys to go visit it. Because so you guys can see exactly what it is. And that way, we can tell these guys that the facts was skewed. It was not correct. And we have to fix that. So this YouTube channel owes us the responsibility to fix that. So let me show you guys this page. This is it right here. I want you guys to see it. This is the page. I want you guys to see it. Go visit this page. It's called The Front on YouTube. Make a comment on this video. Make a comment on this video about Sierra Leone so that we could, you know, at least point the facts out on this video. This video was done on January 27th, 2022. January 27th, 2022. So I want you guys to visit this channel, January 27th, 2022, and make a comment and say, this video is a lie. It needs to be taken down. It has to be fact checked. If they need guidance, let them come to me. I'm willing to to give them the, the, the necessary, you know, information that they need to redo this video and post it back because otherwise this video is in contravention. It is not factual. It is not the truth. And the truth has been skewed and we're going to bring it down. I want you to share this with you so you guys would see, but that is what it is. But this is how the SLPP has been spending our monies. And I want you guys to know that. And this is why we have what we have today. When you look at everything that is happening, you look at the the, 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 the debts that has been increased, the 34, you know, billion euros that was spent, you know, traveling across, you know, by the African Express. Let me show you guys uh, when the African Express was talking about that. You know, um, when um, these guys, you know, uh, spent all that money on, 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 on these international organizations to launder their image. This is part of that fight. 
So I want to share that with you so you guys would see and then you can take it up with these people because we have to let these people know that we cannot sit back and let these things happen, not under our watch, because we know exactly what is actually happening. So this is this is it right here. And this is what I want you guys to see, right? This is the article where they are spending all these millions. See, Chief Minister of Office spent over 34 billion millions on media consultancies and travel per diem in less than three years. This is what they're doing. This is what they are doing. This is the reality. This is how they spend, spend the money. So, But go, go read the article. This was February 14th in the African Express. It is right there. But that's why I want to show you. That's how they spend the money, you know, on institutions like these, on these, uh, you know, uh, 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 media organizations to launder the image of the SLPP. But let us go, and which is very important, to challenge this page. You guys have to challenge this page. Let us challenge them on the basis. This page is not correct. They are wrong. The, 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 the report that they gave is not factual. They skewed out Albert Magai. That's the most important question. What is Albert Magai? Where was he? Why was he left out of this? Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.